Facts with Monica. Hello again, welcome to the program, which we begin with a commotion over a cuppa on the side of the road. Drinking coffee to stay alert behind the wheel has long been advocated by road safety experts. So when a Perth man set up a coffee van on a stretch of road north of Perth, he thought he'd be welcomed with open arms. But as Chantelle Tui explains, despite drivers loving it, authorities are refusing to let him stay. One large flat white, Thank you very much. or I call that a cap white. Try that and you'll love it. Green chai latte. <laughs> Thank you. There's a storm brewing on the side of a busy road in the Shire of Jinjin, north of Perth. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's stupidity in the extreme. Bureaucracy gone mad. Since setting up his mobile coffee van at a truck stop on Indian Ocean Drive late last year, Lindsay Bennett's Stray Cat Coffee has been a huge hit. How's the day been? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah? Better now that you're here again. <laughs> but Main Roads has ordered Lindsay to leave, refusing to give him a permit because they claim his location isn't safe for passing traffic and they're worried he'll cause an accident. They're trying to shut down something that is a public service, you know. This guy's not going to make a fortune selling coffee alongside the road, but it is a bloody public service. It's a long drive from here to the city where I work, and just to have something in the, in the middle and take a break and have a coffee is fantastic. Tourists, truckies, bikies, mums and dads pulling over in droves for their morning fix. A little bit of heaven in a cup. The Shire of Jinjin sent the ranger out to round up Lindsay's stray cat van. The council says its hands are tied. It must enforce Main Road's rules. I'm sure you know, you're aware that I'm doing everything I can to get that permit. Absolutely. Um, but until such time as that's issued, yeah. my understanding is that, uh, that we can't, like, and we can't issue you the permit without Main Roads issuing you yeah. the, uh, the approval initially. Unfortunately, I'm going to ask you to cease business from stay and, yeah. and uh, relocate to somewhere more appropriate. Main Road says although it does allow community-run coffee stalls, it does not have the power to allow commercial enterprises to sell coffee on some main country highways, as no process exists to allow this to happen safely. Adding, we are looking at ways of changing the act to allow some of this type of activity. I'm not allowed to. That, 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 if, if I do, I, I can't afford the fine. So what do you think about the fact that he's being kicked out of here? Oh, no, that's, that's not, not good at all. I mean, this is the perfect spot for people to stop and have a rest and a break. Uh, this is another 30 or 40 odd k's into town. I'm trying to make an honest living and I'm, you know, I think I take pride in the coffee, I take pride in the product, I, ca I take pride in what I'm trying to do. And, um, and you know, to have people recognise it, it means a lot. Lindsay says he's more than a barista, he's a local tour guide too. We are just in about here. There's an ex-traffic cop, I can tell you, fatigue uh, behind the wheel. I've come across uh, many incidents that have been the result of that. So at the end of the day, yeah, fantastic. Coffee regulars say they won't let Lindsay go without a fight. I was all right until I saw C. And it's, I mean, she's just, you know, work tirelessly. Yeah, he seems a genuinely nice guy. It seems a shame to lose somebody who's obviously passionate about making coffee. I'm kind of living my dream, um, but unfortunately main roads don't see it that way. 